Okay, everybody, I don't know if you can hear me very well or if you can see me very well because I've never tried to shoot video before of, without seeing what I'm looking at. So, um, this is Hernstein Field. This is the football stadium for my high school, Chillicothe High School. And I'm visiting this place, and i got to be honest with you, I'm looking around, and... <laughs> I'm getting a tad bit nostalgic, and I'm going to show everybody why. Um, I need to turn the camera around to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, the, the, the top of those bleachers right there, I wish I could actually get into the field and I could show you what it is that I'm so uh, being so nostalgic about, but I just want you to imagine a 15 year old kid, or 14, I can't remember how old I was when I first started working for the football team. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually used to work for the football team as their equipment manager. And I, uh, somebody asked me if I wanted the job, I said yes, and I took it. And I would always repair helmets right up there, right up there, um, on, the, on the right side of the bleachers there, just sitting up there at the top of the bleachers, looking out over this and as you can see this is the practice field um it's rather immense it's rather large and there's the uh the goal posts there that the uh the uh, field goal and extra point team would practice at but i want you guys to understand something um that little spot up there that was the first time i saw what i love and obviously that's the male figure. Now, you gotta understand something. The year was 1988. The AIDS epidemic was really, really big at the time. And a lot of people really didn't like homosexuals, really. It didn't seem like they did to me. And I remember seeing a particular man running here. I'm just gonna come around and say his name. Chad Zeisler, it's all your fault. <laughs> no, Chad Zeisler, um, he was one year ahead of me in high school, and he had this flowing blonde hair, and he had a body to die for. Chad, I hope you're still in as good shape as you are now, because you, you looked great back then, man. But anyway, <laughs> I remember watching him run and saying to myself, oh no, oh no, oh no. I went through this whole thing of, I can't be this way. And now here it is, over 20 years later, and uh, I can't believe I made it such a big deal back then. You know, we all grow and we all mature and all this and that. But I, I, I don't understand what I got so scared about. I really don't. Particularly when I had friends like Drew Priest and Jeremy Thompson who tried to tell me it was okay. I love you guys. Uh, by the way, congratulations, Jeremy, on your new house. And Drew, I hope you're coming to town sometime soon because we're, we are both now at our 20 year high school reunion. I'm debating on whether or not we're there to go. I might come, I don't know. But anyway, I just happen to be nearby here and I just wanted to share this moment with everybody and maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. So anyhow, um, if you wanna leave any comments, please feel free and I'll see you again soon.